Hey guys, so today I want to show you how to multiply a 2 by 2 matrix and a 2 by 1 vector. So here we have the matrix. It's a 2 by 2 matrix, which means it has two rows and two columns. And here's our vector. It's a 2 by 1 you know, matrix. But if it, if it only has one column, you can just call it a vector. So it has the numbers 1 and 2 in it. It's like a list of numbers. And to actually multiply what we do, let me just go back here. We can take the numbers from the vector and line them up with the columns of the matrix. And then we can kind of do this trick where we think of the columns of the matrix as actually vectors themselves. So we'll split the matrix in two. And then we'll do a little more rearranging here. We'll add this plus sign. And so now we're actually ready to do this problem. So the way we do it is we multiply each vector by the number out in front of it. So we'll just do that now. And you end up with these two vectors. They're kind of scaled columns of the matrix. Now the last step is we have to add these together. So we'll just move these closer and you just have 2 plus negative 2 at the top and 1 plus 2 on the bottom. So we'll just do that and you end up with 0, 3. So that's the actual final answer uh, of this problem. So that's one way. There's, there's multiple ways to do this, um, but that's one way to do it numerically. Okay, so let's look at how to do this process a little more visually. So we're going to start with the same matrix, the same 2 by 2 matrix, but we're going to split it into two parts. And we're going to think of each of these, they're pretty much the columns of the matrix, we're going to think of them as vectors. So now we'll just rearrange them, we'll make some space, we're going to try to graph these visually. So the way to do that is we, we'll start with the top vector here, uh, and we can start at any point with an arrow, and we'll look at the first number, which is a 2. So that means we're going to take two steps in the horizontal direction. So we'll take two steps to the right because it's a positive number, and we'll take one step up. So that arrow, that red arrow, is the graphical representation of the vector 2, 1. So we'll try the same thing for the vector down here, minus 1, 1. So we'll start at any point, and we're going to take one step to the left this time because the number is negative, and the second number is always a vertical movement. So we'll take one step up, and that blue arrow is the graphical representation of the minus one, one vector. Now we'll bring in this one and two, and if you remember that is, those are the elements of the vector that we were multiplying this matrix by. So we'll bring those in, and we'll do what we did before, which is scale each of these by those numbers. Just multiply each element in the vector by that number out front. So if you see, the first vector is unchanged because we have a 1, so I'll just do it. It, it stays the same. The second vector, however, has a 2 out in front, so it's kind of like we're scaling it by 2, and the way we do that is just multiply minus 1 by 2 and 1 by 2, and you see we get minus 2 and 2. And if you notice the blue vector on the right, the actual arrow, doubles in length. So we're kind of, it makes sense, you know, we're, we're, we're scaling it by 2, so it makes sense that the length of the vector doubles. Okay, so now we do a bit of rearranging. If you remember the next step, we had to add these together. So now we're going to think about how do we add vectors graphically instead of numerically. So the first step is to just take any one of them. You could start with either one. We'll start with the red one. And we just move it to any point. It doesn't matter. Then we take the next one. And this is important. We have to take the tail of the next one and put it on the tip of the red one. So we'll do that. Now, what we get when we draw a vector from the tail of the red one to the tip of the blue one is a new vector, this black one here. And that is actually our answer. But we arrived at it visually instead of using numbers. So if we want to prove that, we'll just go to on the left here and do it numerically. We'll combine these numbers, add them. And you see we get a vector 0, 3. And if you remember, how we graph that, it's zero steps horizontally. So that just means we, we start at any point and don't move horizontally. And then we take three steps vertically. And so we'll just rearrange. doesn't matter where that vector is. Uh, and you see the two representations. So we arrived at the answer visually this time instead of numerically. So I'm actually making these videos to prepare for a neural network series. Uh, so that's going to be a lot of stuff to cover.
And I'm making these to kind of play around with my animation tool uh, and get feedback from you guys on how I can improve before I start to cover some of these larger topics. So for neural networks, I want to cover the lowest level stuff like which numbers are actually multiplying with other numbers uh, to stuff from linear algebra, so matrices and vectors like you saw today, to ideas from calculus, uh, like taking the derivative of, let's say, a loss function with respect to the parameters. So that's kind of just neural network jargon. But I want you to be able to understand that uh, and actually be able to make this stuff in Python, let's say, yourself. And I want to go all the way to the level that, let's say, you're reading a research paper and you see a diagram. I want you to understand every element of that diagram and to be able to actually make it yourself and run it. So I'm getting ready for that stuff. Uh, if you want to see that, just subscribe. That's going to be in the next few weeks. Uh, and again, I really appreciate any feedback. And I'm going to start making these you know, smaller videos to kind of get a feel for this recording and everything. It's all new to me. So I'm going to make some of these uh, over the next few weeks. So thanks. Thanks for watching. And I'll see you in the next video.